What is up guys, Freedom One here, rocking the YouTube like we always do. Welcome back to chapter 9 of Baki, the Grappler, the Warriors Emerge. Alright guys, so yesterday we basically had, we met Kato, um, who basically was challenging Baki to a match. And we saw that he was quite formidable in the fact that he destroyed a couple of microphones with some front kicks. And Baki was a little bit impressed with him. And then we had this old, older guy who was... I believe he was a, a champion of some sort from memory. Uh, basically, coming go, ooh, it looks like I get to devour two insolent brats. And then we had Barky literally just take off. He goes, damn it, I can't train like this. And that's where our chapter ends. So, kind of interesting. And I'm looking forward to seeing what goes down. As always, I am reading this on mangarock.com. The link will be in the description to the Barky manga on that site. But without any further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we've got Barky, a nice cover page there. He's doing that, he's doing the... Alright, alright, let's go. Kato, huh? I better watch out for him. So it looks like Barky's just running away from the stadium. Mr. Hanma, Mr. Hanma Barky! The award ceremony has already begun. Please hurry to the center of the auditorium. Mr. Barky, the bastard. <laughs> so he's already taken off, he doesn't even give a shit about it. Jeez. He's really made a fool. Fool. He really made fools of us. The Grand Shinshin Kai also. So, do Dopo's just laughing. So we got... Alright, so we got... So we got the guy laughing. You'll pay, you know. So this is the guy that Kato basically whacked. And it looks like he's destroyed some of his teeth. He's bleeding. Now that you've done this to me, boy... Don't go and show off, moron. What do you mean, boy? Because of your dick. Because of you dicks, that guy got away. So he's pissed. Good, good, good. Did you hear that, Sensei? All right, so Kato. It looks like Kato's going in. So he's going in like with a, like a fork thing. He's going for the eyes. So the guy's dodged it. He's grabbed his wrist and he's pulling him away. And he's going for a strike himself. So he's going for like the big like elbow type thing. Elbow, Kato's blocked it. So it looks like he's gone for like a grip thing now. Joint lock? So he's gone for like a joint lock. So it's like he's grabbed his arm. So it looks like he's going for a bit of an arm bar. I will break it too. And so Kato is dodging. He's doing stuff to get around. He's got the kick. But he's kicked him in the head. Kato's going in again with a punch. And knocked him on his up. Oh. The, they, they don't use karate? So. Go. You could kick. So you could kick from that stance. So young. Yet so well trained. He <laughs> he. So this guy. He's, obviously they don't do karate. They do something. Probably something like judo. Because judo has a lot of grappling. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, so he just picked him up and just launched him by his head. You are so weak. I, I can't jump in. Watch carefully. Yes. So it looks like the old guy's going to go in. This is going to be dope. This is going to be dope, guys. This is going to be absolutely fucking dope. And how one handles karate. Alright, so he's going in. The guy's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's freaking, he's freaking. Well, well, well. Oh, Dopo's in. Dopo, Dopo. This is getting, this is getting lit, guys. The same as always. Motobai, Motobi-kun. All right. Motobi, Moto, huh? So he realized who this guy is. How does it feel to have a legend in front of you, Kato? Okay, so this guy's an like a looping legend. He's not associated with, associated with any group. He lives only in pursuit of the ultimate com combat, jujitsu. All right. It's a name that anyone who does martial arts has heard at least once. Motobe Izo. There were more than at least 10 karate experts who were crushed by him. Okay? So it looks like Dopo's coming in at the best time for um, KO. Are you joking, Grandmaster? If you mean jujitsu, I just crushed an expert of the art. K -k -k -k. Are you trying to compare Mikito? And Motobe. That's like comparing little leagues to the major leagues. Okay. 
So this guy's obviously like a badass. He's like, do not fuck with this guy. Some things change. So it looks like he's just not caring. You once called men eating Orochi. But look at you now. Yes, indeed. I'm in charge of a million students now. Indeed I am. And so he's got this big goofy smile on his face. Alright, so he's got like the aura coming out again. How you are now? I could kill you in a minute. What? So it looks like a student's cracking the shit. How dare you insult the Grand Master right in front of us. K -k -k -k. Fool. So it looks like even the guy's like, what a fool. Alright, so he's gone in. Insult? But he's grabbed his thumb. What about them? Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so he's cracked his thumb. What? It looks like he's throwing him. Dude, he just went whoo and launched the guy into the roof. Oi, Kato. Okay, what's his go what's going on? There are too many spectators here. Let's face off another time. Make sure to keep up your training. <laughs> Hanma Baki keeps drawing in people. So you and Dom's like, oh yeah, this Baki guy's bringing all the legends out. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. The Barky's running away. Man. He's just taking the train. <laughs> so he's just running. Looks like he's running home. And there we go. The Warriors emerge. We had Motobe, a legend of Taijutsu, come in and literally destroy his student. By literally grabbing his thumb, he's going, zoom, bang, and launch the guy on the roof. So I think Kato was like, whoo, I got lucky there. Especially since Dobro came in and saved his ass. But anyway, guys, that is chapter 9. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, smash that thumbs up. You'll be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, I'm Free Number One. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with chapter 10, Barky's Home. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.